Okay, guys, I'm ready for a new custom auto segment. The first thing I'm going to say is that some trucks have been upgraded, and there's basically three new ones. So let's start off with this one. So this is my OC Ashlyn, who you may know is the leader of her own gang. She's a rose pink boxer, and I let you guys in on a little secret a few months ago. She and Archie are going to have a crush on each other. But anyway, she has purple eyes and a round nose. But what's new is that she has purple eyeshadow put on top of her eyelids. Just so you know. So yeah, she has purple eyeshadow put onto her. The same goes for the other three here. Addie, Ava, and Bailey. They have eyeshadow. Ava has blue. Addie has green. And Bailey basically has blue too. So yeah, that's all there is on the those three, on those four. And also, Chuckler, my OC, has had his face repainted. So his face is like basically gray. It was dark gray at first, but then I changed it to gray. So yeah, that was something new I did for Chuckler. So yeah, there we go on that. Easy. Careful. Oh, so there we go. And there we go. And the last three are over here. So we have John, Oliver, and Cody. So let's start with John. So John was made from my old model of Shock, the Blue Mountain Quarry truck. When I made this truck right here, who I'm possibly going to name Keith, I took the face off of him because he's a noseless truck. So what I did for John here was that... Uh, I put the extra face on him and turned it into him basically with the roof tiles and the gray paint and stuff like that So yeah, this is Papa Paxton's OC John So yeah, he's basically a roof tile truck There we go on that And let me give you guys a little backstory I had Back when I made the uh, was starting to paint this I actually painted it dark gray like the gray you see right now then I painted it light gray because I thought it was actually light gray. But it turns out I was just seeing things. Like, I was accidentally hallucinating, seeing it was actually dark uh, dark gray. Or it was possibly the light. I don't know it. But then I painted, turned it back into dark gray paint. So yeah, John is dark gray. So you know. Now here's Oliver. So he was made out of Chris's old model. But don't worry, I'll be getting a new Hero Sticky Spill car and making them into Chris soon and getting the others to make Harry and Dread too so you know yeah here they are anyways yep. anyways there's that so yeah he was painted green I took the screws out and painted the underneath of him basically and then after I was done with the green paint I painted the black lines everywhere so yeah, I will be getting a new truck, or a few new trucks, to replace Chris and the others. Last but not least is Cody. So he was made from Harry's old model. And yeah, I painted black, painted, repainted the face, and made the gray lines, painted the inside of him black, and of course gave him blue eyes, since he has blue eyes. Yeah, there's Cody. I'm glad I have him. And that's basically it. That concludes our custom model segment, guys. So I hope you like the upgrades and the three new trucks we've introduced so far. Um, I'm going to show you guys something. So right here, we have new things. Like, particularly this engine here. This engine is currently unnamed at the moment, and I... I do plan to give him a name, or I probably won't, I don't know. But anyways, this engine was made from a spare James that I had. This James model did not, was basically turned into a scrap engine, but then later on, like a few months ago, I decided to paint it black and give it a name, give it a face, and give it my own detail and cut character. So this engine is based off of Barry, the rescue engine. I decided to base him off of him. So yeah, he's based off that engine. He doesn't have the number 78018. He has the number 56 instead. So yeah, that's that engine. 
He has the Thomas Wood Percy face, which is taken to make that engine over there, who's still unnamed. Here's his tender. It looks like Barry's, basically. This tender here is going to be Barry's because I plan to make Barry the rescue engine himself. This will be used for Jinky, the ghost engine, because I plan to make an episode where Jinky comes back to life. He's no longer a ghost and he's a good engine. He's on the good side. It says NWR, just so you know. This tender here will be put on a different engine. I don't know which engine it will be. And I also plan to make Jinty and Pug the engines from the Railway series. I think they're from the Railway series. Here's Peter's tender. I just need to get a chassis for it. Yeah. And here's another NWR tender who will be used for another tender engine. I don't know what the tender engine is going to look like. And here are these two E2s. Their names are negative 5 and negative 25. This one has Thomas's face with added freckles and black eyes with red pupils. A red rim on the side of the running board, and then red buffers. Same with this one, although he has Timothy's face with added freckles, and he's got the same details, except they have different numbers. And lastly, the newest truck that was put here was this truck. So this truck I was planning to make into a original character from the user Ike Smith. And that truck's name was Buddy, just like Poppy the Paxton's character Buddy. So the reason why he has the face of Rotten is because is it was a regular plain smiling face and I didn't really know what kind of nose he had because I didn't really see a nose on the face. So I decided to give Buddy the face of Rotten. So Ike Smith knows that. So there we go on that. And let me show you something else I finished recently. So over here, we have a piece of creative dynamite on the table. It's the same crate. Let me move this here. So the, here is Jack Frost. So what I did to him was that I modified his mouth a bit. And yeah, I gave him a little bit extra detail. But yeah, you may remember seeing his upgraded model recently. So he has the number 111, like 111. So yeah, that's his number. The thing that's upgraded is that I added side rods to the sides of him. He still has his boiler stripes and Percy's little eagle thing there. I don't know what that is. Yeah, his mouth has been modified. Now these three are new. Well, this first one you've seen recently. This tanker didn't have a name yet. It has the face of Kaya, but it didn't have a name, but it has a name now. So the name I gave it was Bay. So yeah, this tanker's name is Bay. She looks like Blacker, too, my OC. Yeah, so Bay is another OC of mine, just so you know. Last but not least, we have these two. Oh, and by the way, Bay faces backwards, so you know. But anyways, these two here, these were made from my old models of Gummy Dummy and Drool Fool. Because I do plan to get new models of them, but I'm not going to paint the sides of them right there. I'm just going to, like, paint the chassis, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do. But yeah. So anyways, this one was made from the caramel car, but it has Gummy Dummy's face. This is a plan I've had for quite a while. So I planned to switch the faces of Gummy Dummy and Drooful. So yeah, I painted this truck blue. I gave it orange lines and the chassis is still black and the wheels are still blue. And he's carrying chocolate rather than caramel. So I painted the caramel brown to resemble chocolate. Yeah, and once again he has the face of Gummy Dummy and he faces backwards, just so you know. He doesn't have a name yet, and I, I do plan to give him a name. Same for the other one, but I don't know what their names are going to be. Anyways, he's painted blue. I'll show you the blue that I used to paint him in a minute. But anyways, here's the other one. So he has Drooful's face, but it's Gummy Dummy's model. So yeah, he's painted blue too. Same details. 
and stuff like that. And yeah, so yeah, that's his face. It's Jewel Fools, obviously. He has oh, they both have the, the logo of Mr. Jolly, which is a reference to the fact that they are Mr. Jolly's chocolate factory trucks. So yeah, they both have them on both sides of them. And yeah, that's pretty much all they have. Yeah, and once again, they're painted blue. Oh yeah, okay, there we go on that. And they will still have names eventually. So yeah, and the blue I used to paint them was Apple Barrel. And it was blue Kanzu, I think. Or Kazoo, I could be wrong on that. But yeah, that's the blue I used for them. So anyways, thanks so much for watching again, guys. Hope you like these new trucks of models, and I'll see you all soon.